So show yeah, this is very reminiscent of Disney to me, and that's that's just crazy. I would have never, you know, when you're at Disney, you don't realize that it's really like a real town. It's like a real town. And so this has parking under, like we've seen in so yes. many places. Correct. Because see, to me, it looks like if I was here, I wouldn't drive up into the square. No, you can't. Well, how do the cars get in here? Uh, they can through this way. So they come straight through there. Yes. But they're still driving on part of the square to get in there. And here on the square, and that's a very nice local uh, uh, thing, they always have uh, on some of the weekdays, Wednesday, a big market. Oh. And you have these. Uh, and they'll have it probably combed yeah. off or something. Yeah, and they have these uh, specialist stores for like cheese or fish or all kinds of different things, vegetables and. Uh, the local market, it's right here. So maybe this car is going to go in the garage. That's possible. We'll see. Go ahead, buddy. You as confused as we are? What? He's thinking, uh, oh, no. ah, am I going to get a ticket? No. I don't, I don't give tickets. Now, Elvis did, but I don't. <laughs> One elf is enough. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So what is this? Uh, another artwork. But this is kind of like uh, abstract art. I think it was put here by the local, one of the local banks. But it's, yeah, well, what it is, I don't know. It's not really pretty. No, it's basically nothing. But it has the M of McDonald's in there. Yes, it does. It looks like Roll. melted. Something melted. Candles. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, aliens. Yeah, it's kind of like aliens. It's kind of like aliens. A raw M from McDonald's. What does it say? He says, um, well, that's a teenager's reaction. Where's that M of McDonald's? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the M, yeah. yeah. It's the, it's the, not golden arches though, they're not golden. No, they're not golden. Yeah. It was made by Björn Nörgard, actually a fairly famous artist. Really? Yes. He made it in 1994. Well, he should be um, promptly, probably if jailed. If this is his finest work, then I feel sorry for him. <laughs> we should we should I, round him I, up. <laughs> I think my kids could, could come up with something better than that. Yeah, I've accidentally done stuff like that, but not yeah, on purpose. Well, but then you remodel. <laughs> this is like, yeah. But look, now it's uh, like uh, around 9 o'clock in the evening and it's quiet. This is typical, you know, small town Denmark. It's very nice. Yeah, it's, nice. it's just beautiful down here. Yeah, it's cold. You don't hear people making noise or snow? Never. Yeah? No. And this is also, this stuff basically never changes. Nice Paradise. One. A nice one too. Well, yeah. Paradise. Well, why not? Is that how they pronounce it? Paradise. Yes. Paradise. Yeah. And the last two letters are, of course, also eyes. And there's a horse trailer, right Good in one. the middle of town. Good one. Yeah. Pulled by a Peugeot. A Peugeot. Yeah. And see, that's something I would never see in the states: a horse trailer pulled by a Peugeot. Another pharmacy. This is Sven Apotheker. Yeah, and this is the a Swan. Apotheker. This is the Swan uh, pharmacy. You can see a Swan. Oh, it's a Swan. So that's yeah, what so the Swan yes. means. I see it. Yeah. So they have all these animal figures as, as pharmacies. Yeah, so the other one was Lion. Yeah. This one's Swan. Yeah. So we got to get the moon. 
So let's look at the moon. Look at that up there. Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. The top edge of that church. Yep. So that's another church. That's a different one than the one we saw around there. Or is yeah. that? Okay. Different one. Wide moon of Denmark. Keep on shining. Yep. It's going more behind the clouds. Come on. Come on. It's teasing us. It is. Don't it's tease us, moon. It's punishing us for, uh, for uh, joking pattern. about the local folklore. Incredible. Very, very nice. So what, this is a defib machine on the street? Yes. Heart right here on the street, friends. That's how you start your heart. But it's right here by the pharmacy, too. So yeah, I think well, maybe because of the pharmacy. Yeah, you know. If they have uh, Dr. Nick prescribing, you know, you, you might need one of those. <laughs> exactly. Well, and why are these cars, are they supposed to park right here in front of these stores, or do they own the stores? Well, no, I don't think so, but nobody makes a big deal out of it. Oh wow, that's just beautiful. These are coin. It says it comes from the local castle. It's a Gauno castle. Local castle? Yeah, there's a castle here. Mm. And they smell fresh. Nice. Reminds me of a funeral home, friends. <laughs> it just always smells like a funeral home to me. Oh, that's amazing. There's the moon. Now, friends, if you went outside right now and looked up at the moon, we would both be looking at the same moon. I just want to make sure you knew that. You saw me standing. Right? Yeah. So the moon here is the same moon as it is over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I felt like it was. City life. But if you look closely at at the church, you'll see that it's been uh, repaired. Uh, it's gone through various repairs to the. Uh, Look at this, the lighting on it is uh, unbelievable. Yeah, it's just beautiful. It's uh, yeah. pretty amazing. It is. Well, that, that sky, the backlight of the sky is incredible. We went up earlier. My son tells me a tidbit that you might be interested okay. in knowing. He says in the old days, this is where they had the weapon room. They had a weapon room because you couldn't not take your weapons into the church. So this is where people left their weapons. So that's what this little room is on yes. the side. Yes. So we saw that little room at the other church. Yes, and it's probably the same purpose. Wow. So you would go in there, leave your weapon there, and then go on into the church. Correct. Yeah. Wow, that's that's great. Yeah, that's, that's a fun fact. Functional. Weapon room, friends, yeah. right here. Look at the decorations on this uh, church. Oh, it's amazing. The tiles. Like this. This is. Uh, we were up in that. Yeah. At the church in the town that we're in, where the bed and breakfast is. Yeah, we went through a door. And went up to where the. We went up to where the bells were. Oh, he says he's been there as well. You have? You've been up in there? Yeah. It's incredible looking, isn't it? Yeah. Very cool. in a 
called it. Hit the bail? Yeah. Wow. It was loud. Yeah. Did you have to put earphones on? No. Mm. Yes. And it's like this part has been added to it. Can you see what I mean? Yes. But these Church of Three Ages were organi organisms almost like. You know, people were adding stuff to it. And those bricks there, see, they're a different color than yeah. the rest. So either it got damaged yeah, well, or something happened. Probably repairs of some kind. So could have any of this been damaged in a war or anything like that, no, maybe? No, no, no war here? No war here. But this is a work in progress because they're so old. I yeah, mean, this, are, this thing could be 500 years old, 400 no, years old, this 300. Is, this is older. Wow. This is older. My own guess, guess is, it's a guess, but it's a solid guess. I would say eight, nine hundred years. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Amazing. Yeah, this church has seen uh, some things, experienced some things. Indeed it has. I wish I could tell the stories that's contained inside the walls. And see now, they didn't used to have it, but now they have an alarm. Yep. Concession to the times. Yes. That's what it is. Things change. Yeah. Well, look how tall those windows are. Huge structure. And just look at these windows. You know, 500 years ago, people were looking at these very same windows. But back then, no electricity, no, no cars, electricity, no running water, no running water, nothing. no alarms. No. The cars sitting around in here weren't there. Nothing. They didn't exist. Probably there was nothing there. You know, the buildings that were here back then were quite basic. At best. They're in that restaurant working. This is a Thai restaurant. They're looking out at us like, why are they out there filming? What are they doing? Yeah. Why are they doing that? Yeah. That guy with the camera. Why has that guy got a camera? Because, yeah. cause lady, that's what I do. It's what I do. It's spy guy. That's it. And now they know. It should be the camera guy, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it made more sense. <laughs> well, that would be too easy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but now people remember spy guys. Yeah. But this is a magnificent structure. Oh, wow, man. It's just incredible looking. And to think of the history of all this is yeah. unbelievable. Just look at the doors. What it take to, what it took to create this back then is something else. There's a there's a, a, a thing right there. A Maybe right it gives there. us some history. I think this is this is a war memorial, but not the kind of war memorial that you think, because this is from uh, 1864. This is as a memory of the fallen soldiers from Nestford and area in the fights for the father country, 1848, 1850, and 1864. So that was wars, not specifically here, but people from here for that me. fought yeah. in the war. I will try to translate it for you as best as I can. The blood that which, which uh, the land of Denmark drank flowed without any fear. And that life has not been turned off. Some, some terrible brutes. It wasn't turned off because it was put to good use. Okay. Yeah. So their 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 suffering. Their suffering was not in, in vain. vain. Right. It was not in vain. And then it lists the people. And and their blood, the 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 blood is now one with with the, with the, the gro these grounds. And these are. And this was put here in April 1904. Yeah, it's quite specific because you can see about people. You know, you can see the names like this guy. He's from this town. Then there's this guy. These guys. 
they are from Lillen and Astrid. Then this guy is from Frans Leuze. So it says the names of the fallen soldiers and the city that they are from. So, so the war was 1848, 49 and 50? Yeah. Wow. What war was that, do you know? I think it's uh, one of the wars with uh, Germany. At some point Germany wanted to... Uh, you're you're physically them. attached to Germany, not the part that we're in now. No, the, the other, other part yes. is physically attached. Yeah. So they must have gone over there and fought. Well, or they tried to it, come here and invade. It, maybe it also spilled over here, you know, that's yeah. unlikely. We can look into that. Interesting. We can look into that. So this was placed here in April of 1904. Yes. This was uh, created by the uh, community of the Danish Brothers of Defense for Nestwood and Areas. On the 25th Foundation Day, to the 14th of April, 1804. Nine, it says 1904. 1904. Here it says 1904. Yeah, but it's for this. Yeah. So this That's looks like this may have been moved. Yeah. It was here. They created the foundation and moved it to here. Yeah, and this yeah. is. It has different dates. Like this is 1864. So they added actually, those names. Actually, it looks like these, uh, this was almost wiped out and they repainted it. And also this was repainted, 1879. Yes. That's incredible. Man, it's yeah. just a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful piece. Very symbolic. Yeah. And there's a, uh, a rooster on top of that church. Yeah. Of course, it's gotten so dark. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.